Yeah, once you have um, joined the Empower Network, you will be able to log in to the website and you'll be greeted by a page that looks like this. This is my page, obviously. And um, I encourage you to go through the Fast Start training. But before you do that, there are a couple of things I want to just point out that will make life easier for you, perhaps. Uh, first of all, um, I know that you should, if you've come in through the Easy Money method, have set up an autoresponder sequence for um, your GVO eResponder. Uh, those are pre-written and uh, they're great. Anybody coming in through the Easy Money method will automatically get those emails. But there, uh, there are other things that we need to do just here. And the um, first thing I want you to be aware of is that when you log in, you'll start hearing a sound and you'll notice that this video isn't playing. And that can be confusing to start with. So you think, well, where, where's that coming from? And it's coming from the audio of the week here. What I recommend you do is download this, put it on to... Um, a disc or something that you can play, uh, upload it to your iTunes, whatever. Um, get it somewhere that you can listen to it at your convenience because every time you move off this page it's going to stop and you're going to go uh, back to the beginning when you come back here. And uh, As you can see, this, this actual call lasts two hours, two and a half hours. So there's a lot of information in it and uh, you're perhaps not going to be able to listen to it all at once. Um, but download it and listen to these calls every week. And um, So the other thing I, I want to point out is if you go to my business um, I think it's here anyway. Let me just check. And this is filling in your profile a bit. So how about my tools? I think uh, somewhere, somewhere yeah, here we go, lead capture pages. You'll see that there are a lot of lead capture pages here. Now, if you are marketing these lead capture pages, uh, that's fine. But if you have not added an autoresponder in one of these sections here, either through Aweber or through GetResponse, that capture page will not work. So, um, I use the get response and if you click on get response you will see that it will open a page and you'll need to add a web form ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Where that web form ID comes from and how you get it. Um, we'll just click that so we go back hopefully and we'll have a look at the uh, uh, go back to my tools, lead capture pages, and we'll go scroll down and we'll go to Aweber. And in Aweber, you will see that here you have to add your email campaign name, and uh, that is simply the name that you gave your campaign uh, in a web of mine in get response is called 90 so that would be all you'd need to do there but in get response it's a little bit different and so I want to show you how to just do that and how to get that campaign number uh, from get response so get response here and what you would need to do is you would need to get go to your dashboard And here we go. And uh, then you would come here. And if you haven't done it already, you would need to create a campaign. And you just type in the name of the campaign that you want. It could be uh, anything that you choose. Um, if your name is John Smith, it could be JS Empower, and we'll see if that's available. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, so <coughs> so so that that's available. If it's not available, then you just have to use in something else, you know. So um, anyway, you create your campaign. Once you have your campaign, what you need to do is uh, create a web form. So uh, make sure that this is set to the campaign you've just created. And then web forms, create new. Once again, I apologize for the slow speed on my computer and uh, internet connection. Um, you can leave everything as it is default. It doesn't matter. Um, and you can go straight to publish. And... You could click on I will install my web form and it'll bring up this JavaScript code. And what you need is this ID number here. Okay, that's all you need. So if you just copy this ID number, there you go. Just copy that ID number and uh, then you go back to your Empower network and you were uh, in a web there, but you remember it just had enter your. I'll show you anyway. Um, we'll go back to lead capture and I'll show you mine, my campaign number. It's uh, it'll be very similar to that because I created it just a moment or two ago. And There you go. You just paste that number in here and click save or submit to change. <coughs> and that's it. That's all you need to do. Having done that, all these lead capture pages you can promote and uh, they will uh, actually work and enroll people in your campaign. You will, of course, need to add messages to your campaign. And what I suggest you do is... Um, you will be getting messages on a regular basis from your uplines and save them, uh, copy them, modify them as you need to and paste them into your campaign so that you build up a long list of uh, messages that can go out to people, keeping them informed about what's going on in the Empower Network. So it's relatively simple. Um, just keep adding uh, messages into your campaign and um, all those URLs will work. Whatever it is you want to promote uh, will work for you. Uh, any of them will just be coming up. And uh, that one, for example, is, is this. And uh, when people enter their email address, they'll go onto your list. OK, so that's setting up your uh, lead capture pages with Empower.